Hi everyone, welcome to Faith Fellowship's Daily Word of Encouragement. My name is Angela Vigil and I'm so glad that you joined me. You know, for centuries, people have tirelessly sought to find the answers to the question, who am I and what is my purpose? As a matter of fact, King David himself inquired of the Lord, what is man that you are mindful of him? Because we were created in God's image, the only way to achieve a proper perspective of self is to have an accurate understanding of who God is. And we do this by deferring to His Word. The Bible declares that the God that we serve is the King of glory, robed in majesty. Dominion, power, and authority are His alone, and He rules the nations. As a child of God, you were born into a kingdom that cannot be shaken, and you were given your identity in Christ Jesus along with a purpose. The King of Glory has called you a royal priesthood. And this is a divine privilege which offers you direct access to the throne of God. Can you imagine the King of Glory referring to us not only as his subjects, but a royal priesthood for accomplishing his will, his purpose here on earth. The reason why this is so significant is because in the first covenant, the only ones who were allowed to enter into God's presence was the Levitical priesthood, Aaron and his sons. And God outlined a very specific ordination process for the priest. It was executed by means of the ram of consecration. They were to slaughter a ram, take some of its blood, and apply it directly to the priest, right earlobe, right thumb, and the right big toe. The rest of the blood was to be splashed onto the altar. Adonai also had Moses provide priestly garments set apart for serving God expressing dignity and splendor. And the express role of the priest was to abide in the presence of God and continually offer prayers and supplication on behalf of God's people, as well as interpreting and teaching God's law. All of this was a foreshadowing for the things to come. But notice the sacrifice that God chose. It was a ram, an adult male sheep. John the Baptist cried out, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, which brings us to the New Covenant, which speaks directly to our priesthood. The book of Hebrews explains that Yeshua appeared as Kohen Gadol, in Hebrew, the High Priest, and He entered into the Holy of Holies by means of His own blood and he successfully accomplished many things on our behalf. He purified our conscience. He cleansed us from sin and unrighteousness. He ransomed us from death, and he consecrated us into the priesthood. Yeshua became our ram of consecration. And just as Moses provided priestly garments for serving the Lord, the King of Glory has clothed us with garments of salvation and He's covered us with the robe of righteousness so that you and I can enter His presence to obtain mercy and help in times of need. This is just wonderful. You see, God commanded us to pray without ceasing, assuring us that the effective, fervent prayers of the righteous avail much, and reassuring us that His eyes are on the righteous and His ears are attentive to our prayers. As a matter of fact, He says that our prayers are kept in golden bowls as incense in the throne room of heaven. Just amazing. 
My prayer for you is that your priestly ministry would be conformed to the pattern of our High Priest, Yeshua, and your life would be marked by prayer and supplication for all people, and that you would continually pray for God's will to be done here on earth, just as it is in heaven. You see, this is our identity. This is our purpose. We are a royal priesthood. Amen.